today's video we're going to be talking about the top five zone coverage budget corners in Madden Ultimate Team. For those of you guys that are new to our YouTube channel, I want to go ahead and introduce myself. And my name is Cody. And what we like to do here is to give you guys video content that helps you get better at Madden NFL 16. Now we do that through a variety of different types of content. But today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dissecting our Madden Ultimate Team budget series and we're in the corners today yesterday we talked about the top five man covering corners we looked at some corners that are between uh, normally between a hundred to about five thousand coins sometimes we have to go a little bit over that to get a, a really good item but um, we looked at a, a, a plethora of, of corners yesterday for your man coverage if you guys like to run a man coverage uh, type of defense and today we're looking at zone coverage and, and this is actually you know more of my expertise because I run a lot more zone coverage and I can tell you guys from my experience you know some of the top guys that you want to look for so uh, I want to kick off our list with uh, with one of my uh, corners that I used early on in the season and he comes to us from the Minnesota Vikings uh, he is uh, going right now for about uh, I think he's going around for about 3800 coins but um, that is the Madden 16 ultimate team base set edition of Xavier Rhodes. Now this Xavier Rhodes card is uh, one of my favorite cards in the game. Again, uh, you don't want to get this Captain Marlin, but this uh, Xavier Rhodes card, going for about 2,300 coins right now on the market, and what you're going to see here that he's going to give you are in my, in my mind the two most important stats for a zone covering corner is speed and zone coverage. Those are the two big ones for me, and you see that he does it fairly well here. Gives you 90 speed, 91 zone coverage. Scott also has 87 man coverage, which is a nice little bonus that he's actually a very, very balanced corner for the price. Has about 70 catching, as you can see here. Pretty solid item. And uh, definitely, definitely someone that's pretty good, especially if you're just starting out an ultimate team. You can get this guy for about 2,000 coins, and uh, he does really solid job for you. So I uh, highly recommend this Xavier Rhodes card. Uh, if you're looking to get um, if you're looking to get a solid zone covering corner that doesn't cost a ton of coins, uh, this is one of the one of the corners that I recommend. All right, so the next corner uh, that I wanted to recommend here, number four on our list, he comes to us from. Uh, let's see here, where was he at? I had him in my notes here. Okay, so this corner actually comes to us, and I like this guy. He's actually on the same team. So we're going to show you this Captain Munderland card here. And uh, you want to sort by buy now price, of course, to look at the cheapest option. He's going for about 3,600 coins, so again, another nice option. And we put him at number four, really for only one reason, is he has 93 zone coverage to Xavier Rhodes 91. But the difference is, as you can see, his man coverage is only 78, so you don't want to be playing man coverage with this guy. He's going to get roasted. And... Um, his speed's only 89, but it's right at that threshold. I find, you know, you don't get killed with these guys. So, you know, definitely, definitely pick this guy up if you if you're running a solely zone scheme. If you like to use man-to-man -man coverage, then I wouldn't really recommend Captain Merlin to you. But if you're just running a zone defense, I would I would say he was he's definitely worth checking out because he's got some decent measurables. And again, for the price, he's not too shabby uh, for what you're going to get with the value. Uh, he also has uh, pretty decent catching here. He will make the interceptions for you. So definitely want to check this guy out, uh, in my opinion. He's a pretty solid option. Comes in number four on our list. Now, number three on my list here is uh, he kind of varies. Sometimes he's actually a little bit more than our threshold. We like to keep around 5,000 coins. But this corner here, Logan Ryan, he's actually coming in right at that threshold, as you can see here. And I really like this card for a lot of reasons. He's similar to that uh, Captain Munderland card, but as you can see here, he has 89 speed, he has 92 zone coverage, but he has a little bit higher man coverage here, as you can see, with 86 coverage. He also has 88 press, which is a nice little stat. 72 catching, which is a little bit better than Captain Munderland and Xavier Rhodes, as you can see here. And the thing that really make, helps him make up for things is his 93 acceleration is going to help him kind of really get to the ball, and he's a good tackler at corner. He's just a really nice all-around option. If you're starting a budget squad, I highly recommend this corner. If you don't like to put him at corner because he does have that 89 speed rating, then you can certainly move him. You can certainly move him to 
uh, safety if you wanted to, but I highly recommend him for the, the cornerback position. I think that he's going to do a, a really good job for you. All right, guys, so number two on our list as I was searching through these corners and trying to find something that could really help you guys out and, uh, and look into it is the Madden 16 Ultimate Team Edition of the Green Bay Packers uh, cornerback, and that is Casey Hayward. This guy is, for the price, a must-buy. Um, he's going for about 1,500 coins. Even if you don't want to play him at corner, you can easily move him to safety. And uh, what you're going to find with this card is that you're going to get uh, really good zone coverage. You're going to get that 93 zone coverage rating. He does have 87 speed. That's kind of a little bit under the threshold. What I would say to you is that if you're running zone with these corners, you want to not press. You want to leave the corners backed off a little bit. That's going to give them the room so they can, you know, they can have that depth of field, and all they have to do is go into that deep zone going to protect you against those deep streaks but for my money guys this is one of the best budget corners in the entire game for t two reasons number one 93 zone coverage and number two 81 catching this guy is a turnover monster if you're looking to get big plays from your corners to really capitalize when you call the right plays this casey hayward card is really really effective and uh, he is really one of the best corners i have found for defending the aggressive catch just because he's got 93 zone and 81 catch he's going to be able to make a play on the ball and that's really what we like to see here so guys in my opinion even though he does have 87 speed this guy is a must-have on your team if you're just starting out with a budget squad and i would just recommend when you're calling the cover three to kind of maybe manually move him back a little bit and that's going to help you out with that speed rating all right guys so number one on our list and he comes to us from uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. I really love this card. This card was on my team for very, very long until I finally upgraded to like the top, top, top level of corners. And he comes to us from the Kansas City Chiefs, and it is a specific version of the card you have to get because he actually has a lot of versions out. But it's the Road to the Playoffs edition of Marcus Peters. Now, this Marcus Peters card, in my opinion, is something that definitely you need to look into purchasing. He's going for about 3,500 coins on the market, and he does everything that we need him to do. As you can see here, he has 92 speed, so he's going to be good for those deep streaks. He's going to be able to press coverage with that 91 press. You can actually press him at the line of scrimmage, and he's going to be able to run with that corner uh, very effectively if they try to go vertical downfield on you. He also has 91 zone coverage, which again is right above that threshold. I like it, especially for only 3,300 coins. You put him in a, a zone, he's going to play that zone very effectively. He also has 77 catching, which again means he's going to be able to capitalize if they try to throw at him and it's a poor read. He's going to be able to make turnover, turnovers for you in the secondary, and he is just a phenomenal corner, guys. I can't say enough about this Marcus Peters card uh, because he just does everything we need him to do, and he does it very, very well. Uh, he's a very solid option in this game, and in my opinion, the best budget style corner that you're going to be able to find, especially if you're looking to run zone coverage, okay? If you're looking to run man coverage, you can actually find a couple of guys that may be a little valuable, and we talked about those guys in the, earlier um, in yesterday's video, but when you're talking zone coverage, I don't think there's a corner in the game that has more value right now in the market than this Road to the Playoffs edition. Of, uh, of Marcus Peters here, and you can really see why. Um, his Team of the Week edition item uh, that's 82 overall is actually going for a little bit more coins, but really is not better. As you can see here, he has only 90 speed, only 89 zone coverage, only 86 man coverage, and only 76 catching. As you can see, he's lower in almost every single category. You upgraded this road to the playoffs edition, and again, normally he's going for around three, around three to 5,000 coins here, as you can see. And this is the one that you want to make sure that you get because, again, he is a dominating, um, he is a dominating uh, corner for you. Now, the one problem, real quick, guys, with zone covering corners is oftentimes they don't have top end speed. For whatever reason that is, I don't really know why that is, um, but they just don't until you get to that top, top level. So there's not a whole lot of corners that you can really look at and say, yeah, this guy's worth your coins um, in terms of like that 15,000 coin range. Uh, it really is kind of a level of extremes where you have really good value and then you have 
not very good value after that. Like, there's not a whole lot of good value type of, like, 20,000 coin type players that you're going to be able to have. But I am going to recommend one to you, and he's a little bit more above that above that threshold, but I still think that he can really play. And I think he's just, I think he's just a really good corner to have on your team. Uh, and he comes to us from the uh, Carolina Panthers. And, again, I think this guy is a phenomenal for zone coverage specifically. We're talking zone coverage specifically. And uh, he comes to us from the Carolina Panthers. Now, this Josh Norman card, this 80 overall base set card, is not very good because of one factor. As you can see, he only has 84 speed. And, honestly, it just isn't enough. Um, if you back him up, it, it does become decent. But, really, no man coverage and just not a great item. This Beignet Benwickery, I actually thought about putting him on here. I do want to show him. He's very similar to the Logan Ryan card, except he's one lower in speed. That's why I didn't post him. But you can check him out. He is kind of inexpensive. But the the uh, corner I'm talking about is the 85 overall Team of the Week edition of Josh Norman. As you can see here, he's going for about 30, uh, about 30,000 coins kind of settled in there. And he still doesn't have that elite speed. He only has 89 but he has 96 coverage, he has 79 catching, and 94 press. What you want to do with this guy, I haven't had an issue of this guy getting beat deep. He's actually been one of my corners for a long time. And, uh, you know, if I ever fear getting beat deep, I will put this guy at uh, safety, and then I will use faster corners on the outside. But, again, if you're going to play, like, cover three style zone defense this season, you're going to need a corner with good zone coverage. And as you can see here, this is – one of the best that we can do as far as for the value. And uh, I also want to give you an insight to one other player that you can look into getting. And I think, you know, you compare him to everybody else. And, again, he's a little bit more expensive than I would like him to be. But we didn't talk about him on the main coverage. We didn't talk and we didn't talk about him yet. And if you go to the Atlanta Falcons and it is there. Um, it is their men ultimate team 16 base set. Now this guy's going for about 13,000 coins. This Desmond Trufant here. And if you take a look at this guy, he does a lot of things really well for you. As you can see, he's a very balanced corner in terms of value. He's probably one of the best value corners in the game right now. As you can see here, 91 speed, 93 man coverage, 92 zone coverage. He doesn't press very well, but again, if you're using that two man under, you don't really need that press rating. So this guy's just a really good player. And uh, I highly recommend him on your team. Again, you know, I understand that he's not the cheapest option, and he's not quite as good as Norman is in zone, but he is very respectable. And, again, for only 14,000 coins, you're going to be able to upgrade that spot. Um, and then, guys, just because I play so much zone, I want to give you one other guy that I've tried out. I've actually really liked him. I've actually thought about going back to him recently, and that is this guy, this David Omerson Football Outsiders Edition. And what this guy's going to give you, especially if you're going to run zone, is he's very similar to that Casey Hayward card, but he has speed, right? So he has 93 speed, so he's going to be able to keep up with most receivers in the game. He's got 92 zone coverage, again, very high for what we're looking at here. He has 81 catching, which is the same exact stat as Casey Hayward. So he's literally basically the same as Casey Hayward, except he had, instead of having 86 speed, he has 93 speed, and instead of having 93 zone, he has 92 zone. So you can see this guy is definitely an option to you. He also has 67 strength, uh, which is pretty good for a corner. 70 tackling, which is really good for a corner. And you just go through this guy's attributes, and you can find that this guy is pretty solid. Uh, for for Definitely for like the aggressive catch with that 73 spec catch. And uh, just a decent corner, guys. If you're looking into upgrading your corner, you want to spend a little bit more than 5,000 coins. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and give you that option. You can find those guys on the Madden Ultimate Team Auction House, but again, we did show you some of the cheaper alternatives, so I did want to show both of those. But anyways, guys, that's going to take care of our top five uh, zone coverage corners for uh, today. And what I want to put, draw your attention to, guys, if you're looking to improve your defense in Madden NFL 16, what I would suggest you do is go down in the description and take a look at our New England Patriots defensive guide. Uh, it's very effective. In my opinion, it's the best defense that you can have this season. It's going to teach you how to stop the run. It's going to teach you how to stop the pass. It's going to give you some case studies, which means basically we're just going to play some games and we're going to allow you to see the defense in action. So uh, I highly, highly recommend 
uh, to check that that content out again it's very inexpensive it's pennies compared to what most guides are today and so uh, again I just highly recommend that you guys check out that uh, that stuff that content for you and that's in the description below also guys if you missed last video where we talked about man covering corners you can find that link in the description as well and guys I want to look forward to next video where we're going to talk about the top five free safeties in Madden Ultimate Team on a budget we're looking at budget free safeties that are going to be really good and the key stats we're going to take into consideration is zone coverage speed and uh, and hit power we we kind of avoid hit power at free safety because we think about like cover three style defenses where they're playing the deep middle of the field so we look at um, we look at zone coverage we look at speed uh, we look at tackling we look at catching those are the key attributes we're going to be looking at so be sure to stay tuned for that video content uh, and we'll see